Hello and welcome back. This is Amit Latigra. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate you how to use table in your HTML page. If you want to keep your content properly aligned in your HTML page, then you must use table. How to use a table and how we can provide a content to a table to demonstrate this. Let me first show you this word document. What I want to do in this word, I want to insert a table. So I can insert a table by specifying number of rows and number of columns from here. So let me have one table with two rows and two columns. And here I want to specify some texts like say A, B, C and D. To insert a new row, I can insert it like this E and F. You can also merge multiple cells like I merged C and D. So this is my first cell with text A. Second cell in first row B. Two cells I merged in second row as C and D. And third row with E and F. To have a similar kind of table in HTML page, you can use table HTML element. So let me share my code window. What I want to do, I want to create one table with two rows and two columns. So to have a table, you can use table element. In your table, to keep a row, you can use tr. Within row, you can specify cell using td. So in this cell, I want to use text A. Let me have one more cell with B and let me end my first row. Let's say one more row with text C and D. Let's check its output. So let me open it in my browser. And here I've kept my table with two rows and two columns as A, B, C and D. Place a table in center, you can use align as center. Similar way you can keep align as right to place it on right hand side of your page. From here, you can also specify height and width of your table. But before that, let me keep border as one. Thickness of my border is one pixel. So that you will get an idea how it looks like. If you check here, you may find some space between A and B. So space between adjacent cell as well as space from boundary of table, you can control using cell spacing. By default, value of cell spacing is one, which you can change using cell spacing attribute. Let me refresh the page so that you will get an idea. So here, now between adjacent cell, I kept a space of five pixels as well as five pixels from outer border of my table or say outer boundary of my table. If you set it to zero, then you will get no space between adjacent cells like this. You can use cell padding. Purpose to use a cell padding attribute with table is to specify space between cell boundary and its content. So let me specify here cell padding as 5. By default, 
value of cell padding is one. Page. So now if you check, A is available in cell by keeping five pixel distance from each side of cell. Next, what I want to do, let me try to merge A and B. Now I'm trying to merge A and B. So what I want to do, I want to keep A and B together in one cell. Whenever you are merging or combining two consecutive cells in single row, then you can use call span attribute. Value of call span is number of consecutive cells you are going to merge with particular row. So here, you if you check, I have merged A and B. Let's keep table structure to its previous state. So now, I want to merge A and C, or I want to merge, say, B and D, means I want to merge two consecutive cells available in different consecutive rows. So I want to merge B and D. So I need to remove my T cell as I am merging it with B. Whenever you are merging multiple cells available in different rows, you can use row span. So now if you check here what I did, I merged B and D. To control height and width of your table, let's keep my table back to the state. Now I want to control height and width of my table. From here, you can specify height of table. Say, I want 200 pixels. Or you can specify width of your table. That also I want to keep 200 pixels. Next, what I want to do, I want to cons consider height and width in terms of percentage. So let me use the height as 100 percentage and width also 100 percentage of available area. So you, you can find your entire table span across your page. All I want to do, I want to consider 10 percentage of available space. But all about how to use table. Now let me do one thing. In my table, let's not use height and width. Cell spacing, I want to keep zero. Cell padding, I want to keep set two pixels. And what I want to do, I want to consider a table with two columns, name and city. So in first row, I want to specify basically in this table, I want to specify details of five persons. So let me keep name as Amit and city as Rajkot. I have such kind of multiple five rows. Let me use say Jainil and say Rajkot as city. Let me use Vihan Rajkot, let me use say Nero and CT Ahmedabad and Krunal with CT Surat. So this is my table. Now what I want to do, I want to consider this row as header. So to convert into the header, what you can use th indicates table header. 
and let's end it with th. So now if you check being a header, text appeared is bold. Next, what I want to do, I want to keep alternate row with different colors. So this is my table. Let's change border to zero so that it looks like this. Now, this is my header where I want to keep background color. To use a background color, you can use BG color as div. Or say, let's use the yellow so that text becomes visible. Now, in alternate row, I want to apply this format. So I want to keep it that formatting my second and fourth row. So this is my second row where I can use BG color and this is my fourth row where I can use BG color. So this is what how to keep table in your HTML page. In fact, you can use cascading style sheet CSS to apply a format in your HTML element, which I'm going to discuss in my subsequent videos. In this video, I have applied BG color manually. Even you can use table to place your HTML controls. For example, what I want to do, I want to create one table with two rows and two columns. Let me first have structure, how it looks like. This is first cell of my first row, second cell of my first row, end of my first row, and four rows. Here, I want to specify is username and I want to keep text box input type is equal to text. Here I want to keep password box. So input type is equal to password. Here I want to keep button and here I want to keep reset button let me refresh my page so this is proper form to collect username and password from user if you want to provide title to your table, then you can use caption. I want to use login as caption. Let me save this page. Let's check output. If you observe here, I've kept title as login. This is all about how to use table in your HTML page. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.